For that first year, we had Blake and the Quints. It was the Quints' first birthday, and Blake was turning five, and their birthdays are three days apart. Happy birthday to you! So you generally think as a mom, We'll just have it on the same weekend. But that specific year, we said she will have her own. But I told myself, every year after this, we're doing it together, because it's a lot of work. Happy birthday! Being a big sister of the first set of all-girl quintuplets in the United States, these famous little babies, it's easy for her just to kind of get overshadowed. Can I see your birthdays forever? I planned on doing it together, but when it got down to it, I just said, I just don't want her to share it. She is an amazing child and she needs her own birthday and she will always get celebrated her own birthday. Whatever we can do to make Blake feel special, that's what we'll do. Look what's in the yard. If you're going to plan six birthdays within a week, start planning those birthdays a lot earlier than you think you need to start planning those birthdays. You know how soon their birthday is, right? <laughs> I know. When it comes down to the reality of life every day and I never get the stuff done, and then you're like, oh my God, it's time to send invitations out. What are we even doing? What time is it? Where are we having it? Would y'all happen to have availability on Friday the 7th? This Friday the 7th? I gotta start like half that. I need to start now planning for next year. <laughs> You get caught up as a parent wanting to do this big elaborate thing. It's just strange the stuff that Blake keys in on as being the special moment of the party. It wasn't the expensive thing that we spent on the party. It was always like the little thing. Kids are a lot more simple. Little things. Listening to what they really want. There crack, crack. And not trying to blow it up for the people coming over. You gotta make it memorable for these years. Hey.